Whoa, things are getting kind of spooky around here. I think I could go for a snack. How about you? Oh yeah, a scrubby snack would be good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What a nice bag. It's got all sorts of colors. But first I want to introduce you to my friend Shaggy Rogers. He's pretty afraid of pretty much anything. Then there's Velma. She's into all sorts of things. Things that are real jinky. Here's the bag again. Crumple, Crumple, Stiltskin. Daphne Blake. She's a very successful reporter. Is in love with Fred Jones. You'll see him later. Now to the star of this entirety. Scooby-Doo. He's a dog, and he's afraid just like his friend Shaggy. However, they always solve the mysteries. Then, finally, the bag again. <sighs> this bag, how do you even get into it? Fred Jones, he's a great guy. He's always overcompensating with thinking that he can solve anything, but never ends up doing it. He just concludes all the episodes with his words. And this is, of course, their Concord, the mystery machine. It's quick, streamlined, and gets great grass mileage. Scooby-Doo is great. And if it wasn't for these meddling kids, you would be hungry. So get yourself some Scooby Snacks. Hmm, Scooby Snacks. Upside down Scooby Snacks. This is made with high fructose corn syrup most likely, although I haven't checked the directions or the instructions or the nutritional facts. You'll probably enjoy them. I know I did. My friend's biggest complaint, they're not made the same way they used to be. But hey, you can't go anywhere if you don't change.